Several controversial subjects such as teenage sexuality, suicide, masturbation, and pregnancy were addressed last weekend during the theater department's production of Frank Wedekind's play, Spring's Awakening. The play, written in 1891, was banned for 71 years because of its subject matter that depicts how young teenagers deal with their sexual awakenings, among other things. The play starred Deb and Sylvia as Wendla Bergman, Alex Fosgreen as Milkwire Gabor, and Dylan Mark Wallace as Mort Steichel. Due to the shorter length of the quarter, the play's actors and actresses were not allowed the usual amount of rehearsal time for the two and a half hour production. My name is Devin Silva, and I'm playing the part of Wendla in Spring's Awakening. Uh, we've been rehearsing this play for like a month now. It was a lot harder because normally we get an extra week or two, but because the quarter was short this time, we actually had less time to do it. So we've been rehearsing every day until around midnight to do the show, and we're finally almost at opening night. And it's really exciting. We, had, we all have a lot of lines to memorize, so we had to memorize those in about a week and a half. But it's, it's been a really exciting production for me. It's one of my first really big leads. So it's taken a lot of preparation. Theater professor and director Bernardo Solana said that a team of about 40 students had been hard at work for over a month leading up to the play. Solano also said that he hoped that audiences would be able to learn something from the controversial societal issues that were addressed in Spring's Awakening. There's not easily 40 people involved in this production. So this is a result of about six weeks of work uh, that is culminating. We have two weekends of performances. And uh, this is something that the students, uh, you know, the theater students are committed to learning about the art and craft of putting on shows. And this actually is a very difficult show. Uh, because of the uh, subject matter, is some dangerous uh, emotional territory that they're in, and so uh, uh, we hope that the, it'll touch on audiences in a way that uh, perhaps they would not uh, necessarily expect a, a play at Cal Poly would, uh, would touch them. In addition to the actors and actresses who starred in Spring's Awakening, several others contributed to the production as well in a variety of capacities, including set design and construction, hair and makeup, costume design, and lighting. Despite the fact that Spring's Awakening was written nearly 120 years ago, its subject matter and issues are still relevant in today's society. And I think the audience overall really enjoyed it. It's a new kind of breed of play we've done here where it's not really like, haha, we're so funny, but yet, look at this is what's happening in real life. So we got the exact reaction we wanted from the audience. Tickets are $15 for general admission, and ten dollars for students. This is Sean Smith from the Poly Post. Future performances are scheduled May 15th through 17th at 8 p.m., May 18th at 2 p.m., and a special matinee performance at 10 a.m. on May 14th.
Several controversial subjects such as teenage sexuality, suicide, masturbation, and pregnancy were addressed last weekend during the theater department's production of Frank Wedekind's play, Spring's Awakening. The play, written in 1891, was banned for 71 years because of its subject matter that depicts how young teenagers deal with their sexual awakenings, among other things. Due to the shorter length of the quarter, the play's actors and actresses were not allowed the usual amount of rehearsal time for the two-and-a-half-hour production. In addition to the actors and actresses who starred in Spring's Awakening, several others contributed to the production as well in a variety of capacities, including set design and construction, hair and makeup, costume design, and lighting. Director and theater professor Bernardo Solano said that a team of about 40 students have been hard at work for over a month leading up to the production. The play starred Devin Sylvia as Wendla Bergman, Alex Fosgreen as Milkwire Gabor, and Dylan Mark Wallace as Moritz Stifel. Despite the fact that Spring's Awakening was written nearly 120 years ago, its subject matter and issues are still relevant in today's society. Future performances are scheduled May 15th through 17th at 8 p.m., May 18th at 2 p.m., and a special matinee performance at 10 a.m. on May 14th. Tickets are $15 for general admission and $10 for students. This is Sean Smith from the Poly Post.